can't believe I'm doing this. I can't believe I'm doing this. That's what I said. Oh, what was doing the whole thing with like the Elgato? The Elgato with Dark Souls. Oh dear. Uh. Have fun. Hmm. Fuck you, Bandai. <sighs> yeah, never play this game without like watching a few Let's Plays. That's rule number one. And I'm not playing this from the beginning. Yeah. Brightness. Wait, why am I starting with a new character without? Go back. Oh. <laughs> uh. So, it was signed into the wrong profile. And use this guy. Sorry about that. Oh, for the love of God, just sign in. Go a little faster, I think. There we go. Two friends online. Probably don't even talk to them anymore. I got scared there for a second that my character was deleted. So, basically, this is not really a let's play, this is just a, a rage play. Because I'm in the middle of the game, so if you're watching this right now and you've never played it or never seen other Let's Plays, I was just not watching it. Just because I already have a few bosses and areas defeated, I can actually go back to another area and show what the beginning area was, which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to show off the areas with a lot less stress, and then I'm going to go into Blight Town, which. I'm going to play down for the first time, so it's going to be pretty hectic. And people have told me that the leveling system doesn't really matter because enemies don't scale to your level, which is all right, but <clears throat> I've kind of gone to the wrong area multiple times. I'm actually in the wrong area right now, so... Um, so sorry to show off, I've already show off a part that's, you know, later in the game. But, wait, why am I at full health? Did I end the game just getting to the bonfire? That makes no sense. I shouldn't be that worried, but sometimes enemies can stomp, stun lock you and do all sorts of other stuff. Um, I'm actually running a little heavy, but... I want... Crest Shield... Thief... I uh, usually run a lot lighter... <clears throat> using uh, the Thief set that you get in... Lower on Deadburg. Whoa! Oh, that's the Butterfly. I have not defeated that yet, so... That'll be a later boss. And uh, the wolf ring is actually located on a ledge over here, which, believe it or not, you actually have to drop down because it. Oh, this is much more well lit. Um, you can see there's an enemy down there, and when he gets close to you, like right against the edge, you can do a downward strike onto him, and then you kind of go through that area. I can kind of show you that in a second. No, don't kick. Yeah, that's another thing. You gotta be careful with the controls in this game. 
two strikes. Ought to do it with this guy. That's good. Get what part I was at that. Yeah, these guys drop a ton of stuff. It's basically just all club moss. Uh, right now I've got two soft humidity, which is humanity in my gauge up above. Oh. That's a first. I've never one hit those guys. Never. Well, that's basically the cr critical damage is only done through backstabs and parry and ripostes. <clears throat> So right now I'm, I'm kind of backtracking into the beginning part of the area. This area is where you fight a demon, a titanite demon, that can shoot lightning. Steve. There we go. Steven. What? I'm actually going to go to the gym, okay? Alright. Alright, I will talk to you later. Have fun. Alright, love you. Bye. Love you too. My girl went to the gym. And this bad boy right here is Andre Vastora. He's where you get your equipment. And I'm going to share with you something extremely hilarious uh, later on when I get to the area to show you. Uh, this guy, you can purchase Titanite Shards. Shard being the lowest form of it, it's like the tiny little piece. So they go up to Chunk, they go to large titanite chunks, um, so on and so forth, until you get to the point where you're at. Um, actually, I want to repair some stuff if I might have taken damage earlier. No, I, I don't want to attack him. Basically, you repair everything. Uh, you can... You get different dialogue. I didn't actually leave the dialogue properly, so he was a little flabbergasted as to why I was leaving so weirdly. Uh, this is Sen's Fortress. I've not gotten into it yet. As you can tell, I'm dual wielding but for no reason, but that's weird. It's like he... <laughs> it's like he like, lifts his back up a little bit and runs with his back. As you can see this guy in his uh, onion suit of armor but I actually wrote a message here weakness fatty and I wrote behind him um, stabbing in the back you can kill NPCs in this game which is phenomenal if you want to run down a dark path you can kill Andre you can kill all sorts of other people I actually killed an NPC by accident and then just sucked it up because I was like oh this guy dropped an amazing sword the sword I'm currently wielding right now the Yuchi Katana and for those of you who already play this game, you know where I got this. You know exactly who I stole this from. And you're probably wondering, did I ever get the uh, the dragon, uh, the Drake sword? Uh, yes, I actually did. It was much later in the game that I found a bow and backtracked to get the Drake sword just as a weapon to supplement damage whenever the Uchikatana was suffering damage. Or I had a row of enemies that was just too much. Um, you don't want to abuse that the attack too much, but the Drake Sword has a great um, uh, dual wield attack. I'm actually going to display. Oh no, I'm not going to display right now. Oh! Yeah, when you dual wield and you try to defend, it does not block all of the damage. But. I'm not in great danger, but yeah, I want to show off what happens when you have. The Drake Sword, dual wielded. First, I'm gonna get my fireball out. Get this guy pissed off at me. And it kind of got both of them, even though they're far apart. And this thing packs a wallop. However, doing that um, two-handed attack, even though we just repaired, uh, I want to show you guys, it is already down an entire, yeah, fifth, or si yeah, an entire sixth of its durability from two attacks. So this, 
that dual wield overhead strike um, takes up a, a twelfth of its total durability because I did it twice. So I'm actually going to suspect my Uchi Katana and head on out this way. And in this area, you actually approach this area directly from this way. There will be a black knight up by this altar, and had I not already killed the channeler up there, he'd be sniping me right now with uh, soul arrows, and I think he has a limit, I forget how many, but he switches after he runs out to a trident, and I've never seen a trident in this game, I've only seen halberds and other uh, partisans and things like that. And the reason why I'm walking right now very slowly, I don't know why I'm talking quieter, but this asshole, you can just sneak up and get a backstab on him. Now, some people don't like the Uchi Katana. This is the reason why I like the Uchi Katana. It has that super long reach for a sword. It's heavier, <clears throat> but it, it reaches, it gets in there. That's probably the probably message said, enemy to the right, which to the right, it's here. My problem is you can't keep your shield up. It leaves you somewhat exposed. Oh, my stamina's gone. I'm using the crest shield and my stamina was gone. That's not good. Is that the... wait, am I using the right crest shield? I'm using the wrong crest shield! That's why! <laughs> So yeah, I, I got the... <laughs> well, why don't, am I not getting any bonus from this? Yeah, this is the crest shield that I actually leveled up, or upgraded. Um, this crest shield, I think... Yeah, that's the, the regular crest shield you get from uh, the dude you meet in the very beginning of the game if you go back to the asylum. This one is found in the Dark Root Basin. And this is why... It slightly speeds stamina recovery, which is exactly why I like using it. Even though it's not the highest defense, I get to keep using it, which is the reason why. And I'm going to aggro this guy instead of actually backstabbing him, because I'm a little bit more proud. I'm way more proud of myself. Go ahead. Go ahead. Heal up. It's not going to do you any good. Come on. That's why it's not going to do you any good. That's right. Well, at least he dropped some sh Titan shards. You're going to start to think that those are meaningless and figure, oh, I'll just drop these. They don't even level up my character anymore or whatever. But in actuality, you will come across weapons later in the game that uh, that require the shards to level up before you get to use uh, these things. Yeah, before before you even get to use um, the chunks and then the colored chunks or the tw twinkling ones or the demon titanite, knight, um, you have to go through levels of using the titanite shards up to level five. And I think you need like nine or ten just to get to level five. I think he was actually getting shots off me, too. Kudos. Good archer. Not Sterling Archer, but... Come on. Yep. One down. Where's the dude that was over here? There's a big guy over here. What the hell? Really? Really? That dude ran past you and didn't aggro you? Okay. Oh, you're the one that got pissed. Come on. Oh, okay, you want one of those things? Oh my god! I had no idea you could do that. I wish that was like an achievement. Push a number of good dudes into an area. Really? This, oh, there's like rocks back there. Oh, didn't know you were still existing. Just 
There we go. I'm gonna take you out. This is why I love the thief set because I feel like such a dark assassin just walking through. There's no way it's around here. But there are some rats down here I'm gonna kill off. Wow, that's actually the first time I never took any hits off them. And rats are phenomenally noted for being hard to hit because they're on the ground, so you have to target them. If you're up here with your sword, unless it has a downward strike, so let's say I was doing this, for some reason I wouldn't get a hit on them because of the sideward slash. Or even this, this misses them, big time. You have to actually target your enemy. Now, there are some instances where targeting can hurt you. Like in this situation, usually targeting would help, uh, but I'm on the edge, so I mean, if I targeted something and I attacked, let's say I was on the left side of that, where that message is, wait, alright, okay. where that message was, uh, I would have probably fallen off instead of actually getting the attack. Now there is one area I won't be able to backtrack to, it's right over here, because the dragon up here is already across the bridge, which, oh, crap. Okay, get those guys out of the way, now I can kind of peek my head out. Oh, there's an item over there. This is your only safe area, you don't want to go any further back on this thing. Oh shit, I was hoping it was tight night. Alright, so over here... After I got my longbow, actually, because I heard in the early game you, guess what, you can only buy a short bow, you gotta take at least like 20 shots at that thing to break it off to get your drake sword. And that's why probably this message says it. Yeah, tail. So you, you hit it, he gets pissed off, you, um... Oh, just for people that don't want to be doing this all day, I want to show you where it's kind of, like, easy to hit without having to, like, really aim. So, and you cannot do this with a crossbow. So see where my crosshair is right there? You pretty much can't miss. You just leave it there that whole time. Because when he comes back... back where he was before. Actually, how much damage am I doing on him right now? I did actually upgrade my longbow. I want to see. Because at one point, you're supposed to kind of kill this thing, otherwise you're pretty much not going to open up your, your area too much. That was awful. 660? Was that? Was that, was that 68 or something? I think I was doing 39 before. And this is like five levels up. Off. I want to move just over here. Yeah, 60. I think it was just a clean 60. So I really can't backtrack too differently. Actually, I actually have a repair box that I bought from Andre, so I'm going to actually buff up my stuff real quick. 134 souls just to repair. That's like killing two guys. Luckily the two guys that thing helped me kill got me like, I don't know, 300 or 400. Yeah. Some people telegraph their attacks really well. There's, they do that wind up and then all of a sudden they're like barraging you with a million attacks. I want to see if we can get this guy to display one of those attacks. Come on. Just, I'm trying to aggravate you right now. No, not that one. Just, ah, oh, damn it. Why'd you die? Just trying to show off a different attack. These guys only... Alright, let's dwindle this down a little bit. Right, I'm going to piss you off a little bit. Come on. Come on, show off the good one. He's got that single attack, and then he's got one that's just like a barrage. Right, he's gonna push. Good. 
Okay, a dual attack. Come on. Damn it. I kick when I don't want to kick, and then I can't kick other times. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I don't know when you get the uh, item that allows you to warp from different bonfires to different bonfires. Um, I'm gonna speak about attuning magic. You need uh, a minimum of 10 attunement, just have one slot. And a slot would be dedicated to any one of the spells you buy, and I th I've only seen people go up to like three. Um, I think after that, it's kind of pointless. Just you should already be no, you should already kind of be conservative with your magic uh, in order to use it, whether it's PvP or whether it's um, you know just killing bosses that you shouldn't need more than three, and you should kind of be putting your um, points in say like vitality and endurance. Pretty much. Um, Endurance and Vitality are the masters of this game. Um, your Vitality is your health, Endurance is your stamina, and I'm a little bit on the cheap side. I actually have Havel's Ring. Havel's Ring uh, boosts your total equipment load, and that's why I'm moving so fast right now along with the Crest Shield. I'm basically going for a movement style pl uh, character because I, I don't know I don't really care if I have a lot of strength and a lot of, and a lot of defense because I, I know I'm just gonna get stun locked if I don't have enough stamina and enough poise and I know some armors give you poise but oh take it just take it all the way I love how this weapon can like just beast on two enemies that are clumped together like that. Come on. Alright, you're done. Alright, uh, we'll display this area. When you get to this part later in the game, you're supposed to run across this and do a little bit of a platform jump. And jumping is just holding down B. When you start to sprint, you tap B. So you gotta time it. Yeah, I, I missed that jump. I still miss it on, on occasion, and then over here, it's kind of a death trap. Oh, shit! That's the attack I was actually going to tell you guys about. I think I drank an Estus while he was attacking me. That almost never happens. So if everyone saw that flurry attack, it was basically just them going nuts. Straight sword. It's just them going nuts. Um, this area has a few items, um, some souls. Actually, not this area. See, targeting wouldn't have helped me there because if I targeted one, I would have only hit one. By keeping my entire character straight they clumped together enough so when I struck it went through both of them because if I had targeted one it went a little bit to the left and it went this way and the other guy could have got me so pick and choose when you target that's what I've learned I've learned it's better to just like not target at all when you're in those clumps of enemies that's how those guys win um, I think they did build that in thinking that oh person's going to get so used to the targeting system they're just going to um, keep targeting enemies so let's show them how that won't work and targeting one enemy makes it so you only hit that one guy so I just destroyed those barrels up there 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 is an item where this uh, skeleton used to be or is there was, an I there was an item where the skeleton is there. I can't speak today I'm just going to head back up this way sorry for having a roundabout way of playing, but I'm just going to head up here, and I'm going to go over here, get back down the stairs, there's an item over there usually, um, just some souls I guess, I'm not going to display what the item was above um, the building, it's useless, it's just a freaking crossbow and a couple bolts, it's, it's not even like 100 bolts, it's like 18 bolts, so it's like not even worth going to get, I hate to you know, be a you know, a big spoiler person, but jeez. 
18 volts. Ooh, that's going to cause a lot of damage. So this is the reason why you want to target on stairs. Using the high ground. Don't, don't test me, Anakin. What? Uh, you're already dead? Jeez, man. Oh, look where we're at. Oh, look where we're at. Come on. Really? You, you want me to take you out like a boss? Hmm. You could do this all day. Hey, you ever seen Sword Art Online? Oh, you're going to just fall off the cliff for me, aren't you? I may not have health regen, but stamina regen is pretty much all you need. So this is pretty much where the real Dark Souls begin. This is the first area you ever get to level up. Right now, like I said, I'm level 53. I learned a little late in the game that leveling doesn't work. I just had to become a better um, player at the game overall, so I started dumping my points into Vitality and Endurance. But, but, my weapons get a bonus for Dexterity, which is why my Dexterity is the third highest stat there. Uh, Luch Katana gets that boost. Um, what a lot of people do is they'll get here and they'll go, oh, the, the stairs, I, I should go up the stairs, it looks really nice over here. It should be, you know, kind of peaceful or whatever, and, oh, bloodstain, that's, we'll see how this guy died. He brought back an enemy of some sort, it looks like. Or he probably picked a fight with this asshole. Did you kill that dude? Hey, I saved this guy from the depths. And I think I can bump this up a couple more times. Alright, so my Pyromancy Flame is going to do some significant damage. Loving that. Now, this is what they call a noob trap, and it's kind of sad, because this, yup, look at bloodstains. Just dude going in with a mace, and he's just getting destroyed. Oh man, he Estus up and everything. There's another blood stain down. Jeez, did this place just get a lot of popularity while I was gone? What'd you guys do? I have no idea what that is building up. What the hell is that? It's a curse. Okay, just get get your head in the game. Don't worry. That meter go down. Don't. Is that, that's probably curse. I've never had curse yet. Probably shouldn't go that way. I think I already got that item. There's an item over there, but if you go over there, there's gonna be two more idiots that pop up. There's a weapon I didn't get from over here yet. all the way over here. Shit. The Zywinder, or whatever you want to call it, however you pronounce it. This dude wakes up. He's big. He's a big one. Let's see how this works. No, don't look forward. Look back. Oh my god, that thing's huge. I, I don't think I'm going to survive this. Oh dear lord, he just took a chunk out of me.
actually surprised I'm even close to alive right now. <laughs> Jeez, the thing took three fireballs, and I leveled the shit out of my fireball right there. Come on. Oh yeah, you can change your uh, the direction of your fireball at the last second, which is pretty good. I'll say that's like the the most forgiving thing in the world. I love that about Dark Souls. People are like, oh, Dark Souls sucks, but the, the, there's a lot of elements you have to like play with and get good at before you can start making... Okay, there's that asshole. Oh, wait, this guy died. And where is he? Looks like he's got some beginner equipment or no equipment at all. Yeah, just a regular sword. Yeah, he's, I think he's got a broadsword, so I think he's really trying there for a second. Got that stuff over there. That's his parry. I, I had no idea that that's his stance for his parry. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Oh. Estus the hell up. Alright, so. This is actually. What the hell? Oh my god, another one! Oh god. This is Jump Scare Central right now. Oh my god. He just took a chunk out of me. This guy is like a boss, so I'm gonna treat him like one. Let's see if I can just beast on a couple more guys over here. You know, I'm kind of wasting Estus. You know, it looks like I am, but damn, when your characters deal out that much damage, don't play around. What's this hole? This is scary as hell. I am bringing out Homer Bone just in case. Mm, I really shouldn't be here. This is way too late from the game for me to be. <sighs> yep, I'm going back. You can't make me stay here. Alright, I'm going back. Yeah, that's. Death City for me. I've actually never been there. Oh my god. Did you see that? There was just something screaming down there. That's all it was doing. And it was pushing me back. I'm just having a bitch fit. Over here. I think this is the winged spear that I may have missed. But not. Oh! So, okay, I guess I can kind of give you guys some information. Don't get the binoculars in the beginning of the game. Have that not be the item you pick as your starting item. Jeez, this place is just riddled with... Ah, just let me through. Wait, that's... I can't pick that up. He, oh. Jeez. Why am I not allowed to pick that up? I beat him. Let me have it. Let me take it. Alright, let's not seem to be anything over there. Oh shoot. Someone's calling me. Hold on.
times to get a useless call from like a telemarketer or something. Please press any button to remove from this list. Uh, please, okay, thanks. Like really, it, it was nobody. Like I never get those calls. So I'm gonna head up over here and show off uh, the early part of the game. Oh, these guys weren't here before. Where would you guys come from? Hey, what's up? You look, you look. Time's ahead. Time's ahead. The least you can do is look. Don't you want to scare her off them? Ah, shut up, buddy. You are in daddy's room. When did you guys get here? Okay. Oh. No, really. When did you guys get here? I'm pretty concerned. Did, did I? Yeah, I want to purchase some miracles here. Uh, I don't have enough of the other one. Uh, the reason why I'm buying Force is, I think, mostly in Blight Town. I'm just going to push people off. Don't I have a better talisman or something? I could have sworn I had a, a good one. So over here... Um, you actually are supposed to drop down, and I'm going to show you that right now. You won't die. But there's going to be some chests over here. And the reason why I'm showing you this is pretty early in the game. It's one, two, three. You'll get a, a set of cracked red eye orbs. You'll get a morning star. Humanity. Um... Oh, and the Homeward Bones, a few of those for early game. And this is where you kind of pop out. I'm sorry, but yeah, you slide down and you... Oh, these guys are... Oh my god! Oh yeah, I rested. I forgot. I rested at the bonfire. I don't feel like fighting you guys again. I don't feel like it. Some, something that's very forgiving about this game. Again, uh, another reason why I like the game... <coughs> Is you rest, <coughs> you rest at a bonfire, and the enemies are now um, calmed down. Wow, wow, this is like a bloodbath over here. What the hell? That guy died over there, and you? What? Jeez, man, who did you bring back here? So I showed you, you, know, you come up here, this guy teaches you some gestures, and I think I'm going to change one of mine, um, I'm going to change my point down to the shrug. Hey, What's the matter with you? I do like the, you know, the bow, some respect, especially after a boss fight. Do a little, you know, fist pump. Just get going. That's actually my Andre. It's Andre teaches the fist pump. And this over here is kind of an elevator. You don't get this in the, in the beginning of the game. You have to find this. I'm going to show you where it goes. But I'm actually going to show you the beginning of the game. You kind of fall off. And you run forward just a little bit. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky. Um, the game becomes a little bit like, oh... Oh, I bet I could kind of go down there. If I just, if I die, I only have like a thousand souls. You know, you get you start to play with yourself a little bit. Oh, that was close. Yeah, this area, um, you're up here now. So if you fell down, you wouldn't take a damage. You wouldn't die. You just run back around and try again. So yeah, this area you can actually walk on. You start to realize that the game is a little bit more open than you thought it was. So you run around. Um, you're supposed to roll on or jump or ro roll jump onto that platform where that body is. We have the binoculars now, so I'm going to be a bit more precise with um, what I'm talking about. Twin Humanities binoculars. <sighs> oh, or I'm just going to jump over here. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. 
good thing I can get back there easily, but um, I don't like doing all this half-assed around stuff. So yeah, instead of just looking there, I just went there. I went there. So yeah, a lot of people get scared of that. They're just like, oh my god, I'm going to fall off. If you roll right at the last second, you actually end up past that. I rolled really early. You kind of climb up here a little bit. Now this is going to work um, very quickly. But it says, curl up like a ball. They wouldn't put this in the game if it didn't mean something. It's not going to kill you. Um, this is going to happen almost instantly for me. But for people doing it for the first time, I think you have to wait 20 or 30 seconds. And the bird carries you off. I'm not going to talk for this portion because it's beautiful. zoom in with this thing, damn. That's how you use them, but come on. I heard you're supposed to be able to zoom with these things. I give up. Alright, so this is kind of the area you start off the game in. I might die. Just as a heads up. When I said I might die, I didn't mean at this part. Jesus. Really? I'm embarrassed. Thought I could handle it. Just, just sit down. Just, just calm down. Everything will be explained. Wait. 80 didn't kill you? 80 didn't kill you? These guys get tough when you leave. Fun. Alright, so I think there's actually an enemy that's a little bit more ballsier than the last time we were here. Down the hallway. Now I've got a pretty powerful pyromancy. Show them up a little bit. Yeah, this asshole is not here. It's a black knight. Oh god. I actually want to take a couple shots off him first. No, I want my sword. I don't want to do that early. Oh, he just. She spots us early, early. Oh my god, health. This guy has uber health.
Titan Knight and Black Knight Sword. Not too interested in the sword. I'm very interested in Titan Knight, though. That, that helps out a lot. Oh, and there's another item over here. I thought that was done for a while. Uh, what is that? Peculiar doll. Okay. Uh, let's also check the stats on the Black Knight sword. Where is it? Oh, there we go. 220? Oh my god. And 20 strength. Oh, it's a great sword, so it's like heavy, heavy. We can equip it, but here's the funny part. When you equip something that heavy and you don't have the stats to use it, you're just like, hey, what's up, guys? I just got this new sword and. Oh my god, I can't freaking hold this damn thing. Wait, okay, let me try it this way. Oh, Jesus. It's like your only attack. It uses up all your stamina. Oh, man. This thing's pretty diesel. But yeah, one week. Like, look at this. This is pitiful. Oh, my God. It's like. Uh, uh. What's up, buddy? Just hanging out? Yeah, I know. And that's another boss battle in there. I am nowhere near ready for My equipment is under-leveled and under-appreciated at this point. So, I know it's just here, but this is kind of where you begin. You drop... <clears throat> something drops down, and you basically pick up... <clears throat> um, your asylum key, and you exit out this way. You kind of read the tutorial messages. Guy, kill this guy here. Heavy attack the guy over here, run up the stairs. So, my, my gameplay is more of a, um, a laid back version. Oh, oh, wait, this is actually perfect. So, this is the first time you ever experienced this weird, like, movement um, problem in the water. And this is the area you want to come back to because. I think I'm going to get rid of the wolf ring. Rusted Iron Ring improves balance and poor footing. On poor footing, whatever. Now, looks like I stink, but that's a different aura. Now I can run better, and this is running. Ready? This is running actually. And this was before. Without it, this is. I'm pushing down. I'm not walking, and this is. That's me. That's like my normal run. If I was if I was doing it with, with the ring on, but I'm gonna put back. Uh, what do I want? Oh, these are all the rings I have. Shit. Okay, so I got my wolf ring again, which doesn't let me take uh, a stagger. I almost need to lose all of my all of my poise in order to get staggered or stun locked. That ring comes in handy quite a bit. You basically light that bonfire, you come... Wait, you don't go this way. You, oh, yeah. In the actual game, you come through here, and I actually have... Oh, shit, I have to buy fire another one of those assholes. Where is he? Where is the douchebag? There he is. Do I, oh, I only have one fireball left. I should actually heal up. I don't care about this, but... I didn't really care about taking damage there, I'm just gonna come back and heal. Get my fireballs back. Alright, so. I healed up, my game saved. Um, is he gonna stay over there or is he gonna come over? Yeah, he's gonna come over. Jeez, where, what, what is his range? Sometimes I, I wonder, like, these really low-level enemies get, like, the best aggro range. Especially those Silver Knights in here. They just, like, see you from forever ago, from forever away. Oh, I forgot about this one. I should have just kept going. I'm an idiot, because I'm going to save here. 
I am feeling I'm gonna die. Yeah, this asshole. Oh, nice. Kinda want as much area as possible here. Okay, good. 16! Oh god, 100. Yeah, I gotta heal. Yeah, bad. Move out of the way! Oh, man. That's bad. Alright, go back. Saunter back to your space. It's fine. Oh, man. It's like I'm breaking even with this damn Estes. Every time! Go through the door! Oh my god, that was lucky. Oh dear lord. stuck there so I didn't really care. <sighs> I am out of Estus. Again, um, I'm pretty poorly equipped. Just not poorly leveled. That didn't help out too much. They, he didn't get he didn't slow down at all in the water. Kinda of unfair, but how are you gonna do? Enemies don't get debuffs. They can get buffed, but they can't get debuffed. This is actually where you get your shield for the first time. What the heck? Uh, uh. Let's see if there's anything new over here. Can't change weapon, toggle items, I know that. Your first playthrough, there was actually a, um... Just a regular archer. And over here, I have the crest shield, so I know I, I, I know I defeated him. So, some more assholes, right? Alright, I'm good. Hiding over here. Yeah, there was a dude hiding over here um, from the beginning of the game. If you don't kill him before you leave, uh, the guy that gives you the Estus flasks. He will respawn over here as a fightable character. You you do and you don't want this. He's very hard. He's he's harder to beat because he's got a ton of health. 
Jesus, a crazy health amount. Um, oh, and running up here for the first time triggers a trap. It rolls the ball down, this thing. And they do it the second time, just to fuck with you. Um, your first time to going through here, you actually want to go down and unlock the door. Otherwise, you have to go through the whole thing again to get back here. And then you rest the bonfire, you go back up. This is where you start learning some of the basics of combat. You go through. And you kind of learn like the dual wield stuff. I like dual wielding once in a while. But it does not block all of the damage that you can take. Only a shield with 100% physical damage can do that. If the weapon that you're being attacked with doesn't have any elemental attack. That gets later game, basically. here, that building I told you about before coming here, that has the Asylum West Key. Now I know I'm facing as if this is the east side, but when you're inside the building, this is the west side key, because they're doing it based off of facing this way. You actually run down this area where you saw a little sparkly on this asshole. This guy is the one that gives you the rusted iron ring. The reason why the rusted iron ring is extremely important before I ever do my Blight Town video is because Blight Town is basically... Is it Blight Town or is it the other place? Yeah, it's Blight Town. Blight Town has just hordes of crazy crap all over the place and you run through the swamp area. Um, this right here is where you fight your first boss with no level ups whatsoever, so it's fair for everybody. There's no way anyone can level up and be like, oh, this is not fair, this is blah, blah, blah this is cheap, or whatever. Um, first area. Need quick work of these guys. Now there's a secret over here. Before you ever leave the um, asylum, you want to check this area out a little bit. You kind of want to come around here. I put this down here, item ahead, because this guy has a little lump of souls for you. And that'll help you when you level up and you go to the Firelink Shrine. And then this <coughs> is where you trade items. <coughs> with the bird. But apparently I haven't gotten far enough in the game to acquire that yet, because I don't hear him. I don't, I don't hear you. Everyone said you're supposed to hear him ask for something soft. And if you guys ever played the game and you picked up like some rubbish or anything like that, you can put the rubbish in there too and he'll give you something. Um, if you want to cheat it a little bit, you don't want to like, play Russian roulette with him, um, you can just look it up. I mean, I have the pendant as my starting item, because it said it did nothing. And I thought, oh, this is a trick. It's going to do something amazing. But, 